depending on the type of run we go on, it will depend on what equipment we actually use. These boards here are actually used for when we go on the scene of an auto accident. If somebody gets in an auto accident and starts complaining of some back pain or neck pain, we're always going to put you on a backboard and secure you to this backboard uh, to transport you to the hospital just to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the neck or spine area. It's all precaution, but we want to make sure that we don't damage the neck or the spinal cord in any way while we're transporting you to the hospital to get x-rays. So that's what these boards in here are used. And of course, we'll also put some splints by your head so you can't move your head left or right. We want to keep your nose right in line with your belly button the entire time that we're transporting you to the hospital. We also have the cervical collars that we're going to put around your neck just to make sure that nothing goes on while we transport you to the hospital so we can get you an x-ray to make sure that you're okay. In the back here, this is actually and more almost considered a mobile hospital, but we do so much in the back with the patient while we're transporting to the hospital. One of the most important, one of the things we use the most is what's called a life pack. This is actually the heart monitor. And what we can do is, is hook you up to the heart monitor and we can actually see what your heart's doing. We can have a printout of it and then we'll take a look at it, read it, and diagnose to see what your heart's doing. And if it's doing something that's not really compatible with life or having problems with your breathing, we'll be able to start an IV solution in, in you and then start giving you um, drugs that you might need to make you feel a lot better. So this is where we keep all of our IVs and once again we'll stick a, a needle into your arm but it's uh, actually just the plastic catheter that goes in there, the needle comes out and then we'll hook you up with the IV solution. And this gives you fluid plus a way that we can give you medications. So this is the IV part of it. Up here is when you're having difficult breathing, we have all kinds of nasal cannulars for, for breathing. If you're having a lot of problems, we have a full face piece that we can give you 100% oxygen. It just flows constantly. These are for the more serious injured people or trauma patients that we have. If you're a cardiac patient just having some chest pains, we might just use the ones that have the two little prongs that go into your nose and give you oxygen that way. So these are a couple of the tools that we'll use. One of the big things we'll use is this. This is the radio, and what we can do is we can punch in a code, which will give us to a hospital that we're transporting to, and we can tell the hospital what we're bringing. Uh, we'll give them a little heads up that we might be bringing them in a trauma patient that's been in an auto accident, so they'll know to get the surgeons ready and, and get people down into the emergency room. Or else we can tell you we're having somebody that's having chest pain, so they can get the catheterization room ready to get you in to get you a cath so that they can take the block out of your heart. So we can give them a heads up as to what you're, we're bringing in so that they're ready as soon as we get to the doors in the emergency room. One of the other big things, a lot of times, and trauma patients and people that get hurt pretty seriously, they have a lot of fluids in their mouth, whether it be blood or saliva. This will help suction it out so that you can breathe a whole lot better. So all these tools within here are what you're taught on, and you're taught to use each and every one on certain situations. So no matter what you pull up on, whether it's a, a pediatric, a child that's having difficulty breathing, or an adult that's been in an automobile accident that has multiple traumas, these tools in here will help save a life and keep that life preserved until we can get you to the hospital.